Howdy, y'all. It's me, Uncle Larry. And guess who? Guess who I'm the uncle of now? I'm the uncle of Bristol Palin's baby. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. Because my brother, Levi Johnson, done stuck his Johnson up in there and made her pregnant. Thank you, Levi Johnson, for providing good natured rednecks something to talk about. It, I do that kind of stuff too. Every time I see a politician I like, I done stick her daughter and make her pregnant. Because that's how you make politicians win. You get them into tabloids, they get more publicity, and they win. That's why I'm staying away from Obama's kids and, and relatives. Because I don't want him to win. I want McCain to win. Because he's keeping the sanctity of marriage. And what better way of keeping the sanctity of marriage than sticking the daughters of of uh, presidential hoper, hopefuls? You know what I'm saying? That's the best way. That's what Jesus would do. He he hang out with with sinners and prostitutes, and uh, that's who we ought to be: sinners and prostitutes. So Jesus couldn't hang out with us. That's what he wants. That's what he wants. And I'm here to tell you about. You know, you're probably wondering, how are babies made? Well, I'm pretty sure you've gone to health class and have heard the satanic lies of penises and vaginas. That's not how babies are made. I'll tell you the truth right now. Alright, there's a horse. High horse. And here's a barn right there. Alright, so the horse, he, he he's chewing some gum and he's heading on over to the barn. And he, he crashes into the barn a few times. Boom, 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 right there. And then he spits the gum right out. That like, So what happens is that the gum sticks on the floor and sort of spreads a little bit and grows into a bubble. And the bubble doesn't inflate the barn. It makes the barn get like... And does goes all over the place. Now, <clears throat> that's what's happening inside of her belly. See, there's a barn, and it's getting bigger. That's how rednecks are born, by the way. Uh, so then what happens is then that when the baby comes out, he's already wearing a hat. He's already, you know, holding the, the thing that uh, messes with the hay. He's holding all that farmer stuff. That's how we, that's how we do it. And, and I'd like to point out another thing, Mr. Levi Johnson. My brother, why do you play hockey? We rednecks don't play hockey. We just play stick and rock. If there's a stick, we pick it up. If there's a rock, we don't hit it. That's all we do. Hockey, what, what are you, Canadian? You're a sailor. You're a Yankee. You're a sailor to us good rednecks. Now, that, that's not how we raised you. That's not how Ma raised you and Pa raised you. See, when you moved over to Alaska, you done messed everything up. Now, I'm telling this for your own good. So don't don't get back to me with like... <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the sanctity of marriage, which is an important issue, and how we good rednecks protect it. Now, this is how marriage works. First, you find a girl you like. You stick her. Then she doesn't have a baby. Then you get married. Then you leave. Duh. That's how we all do. That's what makes it sanctity or sanctified or I don't know those big Jesus-like words, but whatever. You, you get what I'm saying. Now, there's another method we like to use too. It's called the uh, rip and dip, where we kind of stick them and then leave. We stick and run, and then uh, then that means oh, marriage doesn't count. See that? That's what God would want you to do. Uh, that's what all those good people good rednecks do, you know. I do it. I do it all the time. And and what I'll do is I'll run to another state so I ain't got to pay the child support. But sometimes they find me, but I run away to another state. No wonder you're in Alaska. How much child support do you owe? See, nobody can find you in Alaska. Now, that's what happens. See, I'm not in that stage yet. But when I get there and I become like Redneck 2.0, I'll be in Alaska. Nobody can find me. I'll be in an igloo. And you'll be, hey, child support, child support. Can't find me. Not there. Not there. But see, you got caught. 
You got caught and they forced you to marry her. Now you got to uphold the sanctity. You got sanctified. Now look what you did. You, you're not badass anymore. You're like, oh, badass motherfucking redneck. No, you're not. I'm still badass. You're not. So just letting you know who the true rednecks are. Don't, and, and, and then the article doesn't say that everybody likes you at school. No shit. Everybody likes me. Doesn't mean I like everybody, but they, they like me. See, there's a lot of good reasons not to like people. Because they steal your jobs and shit. But I, I like I like people who like me for the most part. Thanks for liking me. A plus. A plus. Here's an A plus right there. You know what I'm saying? And that's the kind of A plus you get. You give girls. You, oh girl, you behaving well? A plus right there. A plus. There's your grade. There's your grading system. Oh, you don't wanna. You don't wanna give. You wanna make me a sandwich? If, if. If I'm gonna go home, that's how you gotta grade this, the girl. So we know Bristol, you're a good girl, cause it, a true redneck gave you an A plus. That's what. That's how we do. It. Uh, so Sarah Palin's probably a little upset and concerned how this is gonna make her look bad and shit. It ain't gonna make you look bad. Just just keep your high hopes up. Just wear your hat a little little taller right here. I, I gotta I gotta put a crank in my hat so just in case. Like oh. I got, you know, I helped a girl out today. Crank, crank, crank. Oh, look, I done did a good job giving her an A+. Plus. Crank, 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 crank. Oh, look at that. I look better today. Crank, 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 crank. That, see, having a big head ain't, ain't a problem. Put this back on. Alright? It, it's not, it's not offensive. It means that you, you're smart. See? Smart people, they got big brains. We got big brains. We're very, very smart. We invented the tractor. What kind of smart? Can't get smarter than that. We done invent fertilizer. We said, oh look, a piece of poop. It doesn't grow plants. That's how we invented it. We invent a lot of a lot of things. So don't hate on us. Don't say we can't invent nothing. But well, we're dumb hicks. No, we're not. You know, we, we, we're smart in different areas. You know, just because we, we can't debate evolution with you doesn't mean that we can't know that a piece of poop can grow plants. You know, and, and it probably evolved to do that anyway. You know, we're, it took only 6,000 years, but whatever. That's what it takes. Whatever it takes. As long as, it, as, long as the ball is rolling. That's the truth right up in there. So that's true of... Uh, I done had a, a, a beer today, you know, that's how we all do it. We all have beers. We get drunk in the spirit. That's how we do it. My tractor broke down the other day. I was trying to get it working. You know, I done cranked it up. Put, put, crank, crank. But it wasn't moving. I, it, I, I ran over uh, Grandma Stevia's uh, underpants and it done jammed up the system up in there. Too bad her panties are way too big. Takes a tow truck to lift her out of bed. Can't take this. Can't take it anymore. I done got to move out of my own farm. Hopefully they got a nursing home I could put her in, but apparently they they don't got the foods that she likes, and she's always complaining. Uh, why can't I get my own eggs from the kick from the chickens myself? I don't like Publix. Well, Publix. Uh, or, and she don't call it Publix. Like she's like, oh, it, it, they they lick pubes. That's why they call it Publix. And no, they pronounce it Publix. See, see, not all of us rednecks are dumb. We're we're smart. We're very smart. We're very intelligent. We know how to pronounce the word intelligent. That's what makes us smart. See, a lot of people don't know how to do it. They're like Intel, Intel, Intel processor, and. uh so that means the people that make the Intel processors are not smart at all. They're not. Because they pay other people to do it for them. They pay, see, they pay, they go to Silicon Valley. They're, they're tired of girls with flat breasts. That's why they go there. They're like, oh, I done squeeze a piece of my boob right in there and it doesn't make the processor work faster. But I gotta go anyway, so peace out.